Hey everyone. Anyone who watches my videos regularly knows I'm pretty hard on the Republicans. So for once, I'm going to tell you about a law that they were opposed to that I actually agree with the Republicans on. But stay with me because at first you're going to go, what, you agree with them on this one? California passed a law against texting while driving. Okay, on July 1st of this year, it became illegal for us to talk on our phones without a hands-free device. Now, I thought that was a little ridiculous because all the studies show that it's the distraction of talking on the phone and visualizing your conversation and the person you're talking with, da 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 that is a bigger distraction than actually taking one hand off the wheel to talk on the phone. But whatever, I complied with it, and of course I got my my new phone, and um, you know it has an earpiece. Anyway, but I gotta tell you already, I found myself fumbling around. The phone rings, and I find myself fumbling around trying to get it plugged in and put it into my ear, so I can answer the phone call, which seems a lot more distracting than just answering it. But that's not my point. So be it, I'm over it, the law is the law. It's funny that they didn't make texting illegal at that point. So now technically you can't make a phone call or you can't make a phone call with the phone up to your ear, but you could text the person instead. <laughs> After it came out with this train wreck a couple weeks back that the engineer was texting and didn't see the signal, um, that probably is partially what prompted um, this new law. It goes into effect January 1st, 2009. No texting while driving. Now the reason the Republicans are opposed to it, even though it passed, and I have to agree with them just this one time on this one minor point, their point is where does this end? It's not so much that Texting should, is something people should do because it, it seems like it would fall in the realm of common sense. Don't text while you drive. But their concern is that what's next? No eating while driving? Uh, no coffee while driving? No changing the radio station? No talking to your passengers while you're driving? Certainly all these things are distractions that could lead to accidents and one should use greater caution if engaged in these activities. But I do think you should be able to you know, I'm not saying sit down with a meal, I'm just saying, you know, some snacks while you're driving. You know, whatever. Anyway, the other reason I take issue with it, other than the question of where does it end, is that how does a police officer know if you're texting? Basically, if they don't see both hands on the wheel, and you're glancing down, you might be reaching for a potato chip or to take a sip of your cola or changing the radio station but they see that hand off the steering wheel they see you looking down oh must be texting pull them over it basically gives police yet another reason to pull you over because they don't like the looks of you now it's not a problem I've had because I've always basically thing is, I always have driven a car that's pretty nondescript and doesn't stand out. That, and I follow the law. I drive the speed limit. Believe it or not, I have a clean driving record because I don't speed. I follow the traffic laws. Car is extremely dangerous. I like to follow rules. I wish everyone would. Anyway, the new rule, no texting. So <laughs> that won't be a hard one to give up since I don't text while driving now. Anyway. I just had to say, for one time, I agree with Republicans. On this point only, in this case only, don't get the wrong idea. Thanks for watching.